you see what's happening. There's all this heat and humidity that's building out to the west. And the leading edge of it is this warm front. And that kind of punches at us at about midnight tomorrow night. And with it, you're going to see some showers and thunderstorms develop along that front. And they could be strong to severe. But the timing again is getting quite late into the evening, which is not the typical time you think of thunderstorms. Now, obviously, if there are thunderstorms going on tomorrow night, we will be here and we'll walk you all through it all through the evening long. So here's the map at, at 3 a.m. Friday morning, late tomorrow night, early Friday morning. You see the strong thunderstorms and then this hightails it on out of here. And once it's gone, cooler air starts flowing in here. Cooler, drier. Boy, wait till you see Saturday. It's going to look fantastic out there. But here's the area that we're most concerned with for severe weather for late tomorrow night. And of course, obviously damaging winds and lightning. And although the threat is really, really low, the threat of tornadoes is not zero, so we have to keep an eye out for that as well. As far as percentages are concerned, there's only about a 2% chance that we would actually see a tornado threat into this area. But again, we're just going to keep a close eye on it, keep, it uh, keep advised on the forecast for tomorrow, and we'll keep you posted on it all tomorrow through the newscast, and if we have to, even into tomorrow night. So here's what happens. Tomorrow morning, not much going on, a few clouds developing. In the afternoon, there may be a few showers that are developing, but now the strong stuff really starts pushing in here as we talk about tomorrow night. Now, now notice where it's trying to focus more south of the pike than anything. I think everyone will have a good chance of seeing showers and thunderstorms, but this may be the area where we have the best chance at seeing severe weather. So this is one o'clock in the morning by about three, four o'clock. It is gone. And by the time you wake up on Friday, the skies are already starting to clear and we'll get back into some sunshine. So it's a short lived event. Now today we continue the trend that we have established for this whole month. The blue days are the days where the temperatures were below average today. Another below average this month is going down as 1.4 degrees on the cold side, but a beautiful evening out there. If you get a chance, step out. It's 70 degrees. The humidity is comfortable. We'll have to wait until Saturday before it's this nice again. Now I have made tomorrow an impact weather day, not so much for the day as for the night. And then that threat of rain will carry to early Friday morning before clearing away. And by the way, on Friday, the wind will pick up the northwest in the afternoon. That'll usher in that cooler, drier air, setting us up for almost a chilly Saturday morning, but it rebounds nicely into the afternoon. Pleasant, 76 degrees. Sunday, not quite so nice. Chance of some showers coming in there, mainly toward the afternoon, but not like guarantee rain on that one at all. And relatively cool temperatures over the next seven days. No real heat wave showing up in this forecast right now. That is my latest forecast for right now. I'm meteorologist Mike Wonkham.